Stop for a second and think about what you did yesterday. Try to see the day in its entirety. You realize you'll never get that day back, right? A matter of fact is that you'll never get those couple of seconds where I made you recall that back either. Today, I'll be giving you guys an extension stack, which are things you can add to your phone and computer to increase your productivity, a mindset that you should adopt towards time, and a solution to procrastination forever. But before we hop into the video, I want you to comment down your current screen time, and let's see who has the lowest, who has the highest, and let's come back to a week later, and let's see who has the lowest and who has the highest again. So once you do that, let's begin. So I want to start off by saying that there's no such thing as finding time to accomplish things. You must consciously choose to not do anything else in order to make time. So to enhance your focus and productivity, adopting a monk mode mindset is key. So my version of monk mode is not going for, like not going out for like a short duration of time, but a new lifestyle uh, you live by. So it's about intense focus and possibly isolation and fully immersing yourself in the process. So to begin, one, whichever device you're using and whether it's your phone or computer, I want you to fully clean and organize it. So I'll show you guys examples of how this should look like. So for example, for Mac, this is a picture of my Mac screen. It's pretty basic default background and just one file. And in that file, I have other files. So like it's just organized and tidy. And then for your phone, you should always have two widgets that show your screen time and something else that so you don't need to do that. And just have essential apps. Like see how all these apps are just for productivity. Gmail, you got Crack and Pro, you got Stripe. You want to be like that. And then I don't even know if I should say this, but delete all stupid apps. So for example, if you want to have Instagram, if you're dying to keep Instagram, just put a one hour steering time on it. So if anything that doesn't bring you closer to your goals, just abandon it. Now, before I hop into the extension stack, I just want to mention your surroundings are a physical manifestation of your mind. So if your room is a smelly, dirty piece of shit, you're most likely a smelly, dirty piece of shit. So take a second to clean and organize your room if it's not. But now let's talk about the extension stack you must have on your computer. And I also talk about apps. So first is Facebook feed eradicator. So if you're addicted to Facebook, this will solve everything. Next is unhook for Chrome. And I think all of you guys who are watching YouTube need this. This will like stop all your YouTube procrastination. Next is focus for Mac. So this is like, so say you want to like do your, like you want to study for your test, but you keep going on YouTube and Instagram. You can just block those websites for like a time period and pretty much you won't go on it again. Lastly is the music part. A lot of you like to listen to music during work. Personally, I don't like to, but if you want to, there's a website called brain.fm and it provides focus enhancing music. And it also has studies to back up that people who listen to the music while they do the work actually have even better results. So personally, I would listen to that if I like listening to music. So now that you have that in place, I'm mainly going to speak now about procrastination and mindset. So now from now on, you'll need to make decisions using the Eisenhower decision matrix. This tool is essential for managing tasks by categorizing them based on urgency and importance. So picture a square divided into four quadrants. The top left quadrant is for tasks that are urgent and important. So these are done immediately. The top right is for a pertinent but not urgent tasks. So this is like the second highest. So what you should schedule for later once your urgent tasks are done. The bottom left the bottom left quadrant is for urgent but not important tasks. So delegate these, so like tell your little sister to do it. Or you can just pay someone to do it, but you guys are probably like not that financially well but in the future. The bottom right quadrant is for tasks that are neither urgent nor important. So things such as like I don't know, cutting your nails. Like, it's important, but you don't need to do it on, like, right away. This system helps you focus on what truly matters, reducing time wasted on an important task. The best way to deal with procrastination is through guarding your peak times while also creating deadlines that you swear upon your honor that you can't miss. So first, identify the times that you're most alert, creative, and productive. So once you know your peak time, guard it easily. During these hours, avoid all distractions, put your phone on airplane mode, and just focus solely on your most important tasks. This dedicated time block can significantly increase your productivity and the quality of your work. 
and then the deadline strategy it will trick your brain into a state of urgency boosting your productivity and avoiding procrastination like think about it back in school there was always deadlines so we always had our work done right away or person that's always what worked for me i never like submit anything late and there's probably like majority of you probably did the same so by completing tasks ahead of the real deadline you give yourself a buffer for unexpected issues and reduce last minute stress and to end the video off i just want to say that procrastination isn't real and you only get what you tolerate so in the end if you do these methods and still procrastinate it's because you want to procrastinate you don't want to become better and you keep tolerating mediocrity so that's it for this video. Peace on the street.